Hey guys, it's Soda here and welcome back to another video. Say hi to Toby. He's here. <laughs> okay, so I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. I tried making it before and I never uploaded it. I don't really know why, I guess it's just not really the kind of videos I usually make. But I think it's kind of important that I make a video about this because I feel like no one talks about this and I feel like we should talk about this more because it's quite a big problem um, not just on TikTok but on all social media on Instagram and YouTube it's also on there but I use TikTok like every day and I've noticed that there's a lot of really bad animal videos on it so since I started using TikTok which was probably like a few months ago I don't know I've been saving all the videos I've seen so I can talk about them with you guys. There's just too many videos on TikTok that is just blatant animal abuse and neglect. I mean, and a lot of videos of people who just are misinformed on how to care for an animal, but there's still a lot that is just, just abuse, like, honestly. Basically, on TikTok, if you call someone out for not taking care of an animal properly, you'll get called a snowflake, you'll get called a TikTok vet, and you'll get called a Karen sometimes for some reason. I don't know why that's to do with animals, but okay. Sure. I don't know why it's such a trend to abuse animals for views, <laughs> but it is on TikTok and I think we should talk about it. I also just want to help educate people who might see these videos and think, oh that's cute, a hamster. I want to go get a hamster now and then impulse buy an animal because that's also very common on TikTok. People are always impulse buying hamsters and fish, what I see all the time. So I'm just going to go through some of these videos with you guys and just kind of talk about what's wrong with them and why a lot of this stuff isn't okay and maybe help educate people who might come across these TikToks and not realize that it's actually wrong because I understand that the majority of people don't know when they first see these videos that it's actually really wrong. So I want to educate you guys. Also you can follow me on TikTok if you want. Um, I don't post often but s sometimes I do so yeah. By the way I'm not a professional vet or anything like that. I just know a lot about animals and I own a lot of these kinds of animals that I'm going to be showing you videos of today. I just do a lot of research. I hate the term TikTok vet. It's so stupid like you don't have to be a vet to know some basic fucking care of an animal you know. You just need to do some research not impulse by an animal. Okay I'm gonna try and keep calm but I may get angry at some of these videos. So basically I have everything in my favorites that's just where I've Oh god, that's just where I've put all these videos. Um, as you can see, a lot of them have been taken down, which is great. There's a lot here. I don't remember what these videos were, but you probably will be glad that you didn't see them. So that's good that some of these videos do get taken down, but most of them don't. Um, and I have reported videos before. I've never had TikTok take a video down that I've reported. I always get a thing back, it's like, we found nothing wrong with this video, and it's someone, like, killing a fish or something. So I'm gonna start from the very bottom of this. So let's start with the first video we have here, which is this. By the way, I don't know if I'll have the music in this video, I probably will turn the sound off because a lot of these songs are copyrighted, so yeah. Let's see what this video is. Okay, so some of you guys might have seen some of these videos because this has over 800,000 likes, so Wow. This is not the only one I've seen. I've seen heaps of these. I've seen them on Facebook as well. It's like these pearl videos and stuff, but for some reason they always put axolotls in the videos and I have no idea why. So as you can see there's like a stream just full of tons of axolotls. First of all, I'm pretty sure the pearl is fake. I really doubt that that's real because there's so many of these like pearl videos and I'm pretty sure they're all fake. But like, why is there axolotls there? This isn't natural by the way. Like some of the comments were like, oh it, it's just the axolotls in their natural environment. Um, you can't actually get those types in the wild. You can only get them in captivity. Wild type axolotls are what you find in the wild, which are black. They're also endangered in the wild and can only be found in Mexico and they're pretty rare to actually find them in the wild. You don't find them in big groups like this. So this is not natural. They would have just brought a bunch of axolotls and put them in this like little puddle thing for a TikTok and I, I don't get it. Like why? What is actually the point in this? Thankfully there is a lot of comments that are just like, what the hell are you doing? Um, but since there's so many likes, you know, that the majority of people don't realize that this isn't right. <laughs> this isn't natural at all. This is just cruel. This makes me wonder what they did with these axolotls afterwards because I don't know, they won't be able to live in there for long. Um, I actually have another video like this somewhere, let me find it real quick to show you guys. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's another one. 
this one's worse, honestly, because the x dolls are out of water, which they cannot breathe out of water. They look incredibly skinny. So skinny. I've never seen an x doll that skinny before. They look like they have no gills. That one is missing a limb. Um, it's really sad. And that is just... That is just abuse right there, and I can't believe this is allowed on TikTok. Oh god, there's another one on their page right here! <gasps> oh my god, I haven't seen this one before. What are you doing? Why is there so many axolotls? Also, you can't find one of these clams, I think. I don't know. You can't find clams and axolotls in the same environment. This doesn't make any sense at all. It's so stupid. Yeah, I hate these videos so much. They're so stupid. Oh. Oh, look at him. Poor baby. These piss me off so much. Yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next video. I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah. God, it's just it's so stupid. I hate it so much. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of funny to me because it's so stupid. Sorry. I I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Hashtag pet lover. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this person doesn't know their comments are turned off, so it says a lot, you know. First of all, that tank is so tiny. That's like a 20 liter tank that a goldfish is in. Like, that's way too small. That goldfish should be living in a bathtub rather than being in there for fun, you know? Like, a goldfish doesn't find that fun, by the way. Like, you're not actually supposed to move fish out of the tank while cleaning it because you're not meant to do full cleans. You're just meant to do, like, a partial water change and leave the fish in there while you do it because they get stressed very easily. And this would be incredibly stressful for the fish. Also, there will be a lot of like soaps and chemicals and stuff from the bath which will soak into the water and could kill the fish so I don't get I don't know I've seen another video of this by the way I have another video of the same thing somewhere I think it's a different person doing the exact same thing with their fish which really shows you like when people see someone else doing on TikTok they're like oh cool I'm gonna go do the same thing you know maybe this is just a kid and they didn't know better which like, I understand like people make mistakes during pet care and that's fine, you can learn from your mistakes, but the fact that comments are disabled um, and the video is still up, I think says a lot about <laughs> the person, you know? If you realize your mistakes, you would probably delete the video so people don't do the same thing as you. But because the video got a lot of likes and views, they kept the video up. Oh, okay. So the caption is just, my fish froze. You ever just accidentally freeze your fish in a bag? I do that all the time, dude. <laughs> you did this for what? People really do be freezing their fish to death for TikTok views, and I don't get it. This has over 600,000 likes. I don't even know what to say to this one because I don't understand. And they're laughing in the video too, it's like, what is wrong with you? People really think that just because it's a fish and that it's cheap and probably a feed of fish that you can just kill it for views, cause... TikTok views, am I right? We don't care about fish in this club. Just so you know, goldfish are incredibly intelligent. They don't just have three second memories like your teacher told you in preschool or something. They're actually super intelligent. You can teach them tricks and they will remember your face. They know when it's feeding time. They're really smart. So the next one, I remember this one. This is one of the first ever TikToks I actually saw on the app. So it was a trend for a while to like pour things down at the camera screen and just just watch the video. Yeah, that's real goldfish. He really just put a bunch of little goldfish in a cup and dropped them onto their phone screen for a TikTok. The caption is also, no fish were harmed in the making. What? What do you mean? You just drop them like onto the floor or something from a height. They're f little baby fish, they can't handle things like that. They also commented, um, we poured them into their tank, they are fine. That is not true. If that was the case, you would see a lot more water splashing, but notice how like you don't see any water splashing. You just see it coming from the fish as they fall. If the phone was in water or something, you would be able to tell. But it's clearly not. They clearly just drop them onto the floor or something. See how the comments are like, the TikTok bits are coming. Some people just care about other living things. It's shocking, I know. So a lot of these are fish videos, as you can tell. There are some other animals too, but a lot of it's fish because there's just a lot of fish abuse on TikTok because people don't care about fish, but 
I do, so fish nerd here. This one has 1.4 million likes. I just don't understand this one. Like, first of all, what the fuck is that fish tank? It's like half a bowl. It's not even a bowl. It's half a bowl, which is just worse than a bowl. Why is she doing that with it? I don't understand. They've apparently had it for two and a half years, which is even sadder that that thing was suffering in there for so long. Goldfish need large tanks. They produce a lot of waste, which creates ammonia. They need a powerful filter. Um, they also usually need an air pump too because they need a lot of oxygen. Tank needs to be cycled, which I doubt this was because it's a bowl with no filter. Oh god, this was another trend on TikTok for some reason. I don't know why, this legit became a trend of putting your betta fish in the toilet while it's still alive and then flushing it down the toilet. I don't get it, This, but like, yeah, there's several TikToks of different people doing the same exact thing. The captions are always like, oh I thought my fish is dead and then it came back to life when I flushed it. It's like, shut up. You can tell when a fish is actually dead because they'll stop breathing, their gills will stop moving. And also, why are you filming it putting your fish down the toilet in the first place? Like. The fuck? 2.9 million likes. Someone putting their alive fish down the toilet. It's so funny. Haha, <laughs> they thought it was dead. Oh my god. Fuck, that's so good. Um, yeah, by the way, please don't ever flush fish down the toilet, even if it's actually dead. Um, it's really bad for the environment. If your fish dies, just bury it outside. That's what I do when my fish die. I always bury them. Or you can just put it in the bin. I hate that that's become normalized to put fish down the toilet because it's really bad for the environment. And make sure your fish is actually dead. It's really easy to tell, just check the gills. Oh god, the caption. Can hamsters swim? Being the animal lover that I am, I have two, actually. Let's we'll see if they do. Carl! Oh, we got Carl, so let's go see if he can swim. Yeah. Oh, oh, stop! He's so cute! He's like a little baby river otter. Oh! He's just trying Good. to get out. Good job! Guys, Coral can swim, so good job, Coral. Um, you're gonna get a treat in a bath now. <sighs> I like how the video starts, as an animal lover, let's put my hamster in water and see if it swims. It's really not that hard to do a Google search and find out that no, you're not supposed to let your hamster swim. They can swim to survive. That doesn't mean you're supposed to put your pet hamster into a bottle of water. It's not fun, doesn't keep them clean, it's actually really bad for them. It strips all their natural oils away, it's just really stressful for them, and it also can make them too cold. It could just be a simple mistake, but then why would you keep this on TikTok? Because then you're encouraging people to do the same thing. People, animals are not toys. <laughs> is that so hard to understand? This is so mean. The poor fish will be incredibly stressed. I like the top comment, and that's on abusing animals. Yes. They also like put it down the sewer or something at the end of the video. I don't know if it lived through that. I hope they did because that poor thing would just be trapped in there until it starves to death. Why would you do this? This is so mean. I don't know what else to say. This is just horrible. Who finds this funny? No, 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 no. Okay, I've seen a couple of videos like similar to this. I just don't understand the thought of like, you drop your fish on the floor. What's the first thing you do? Pick them up, make a TikTok. Pick them up, make a TikTok. Obviously, make a TikTok. Duh, you gotta get those views. Over 600,000 likes, totally worth dropping your fish on the floor for that. Yeah, so, you know, maybe she actually just dropped her fish on the floor by accident, but why would you film it? And also, why is she getting a cup and just doing this? Like, what are you doing? Just grab them. Okay, this one's actually a good video, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I really like it, so let's watch it.
thank you. Please can we make more good pet videos go viral instead of bad ones? Like, first time I saw this I was like, oh god, what are you doing? And then I realized it was actually a good video, so thank you. Again, I don't know if this is fake or real because how would you accidentally drop your fish in a garbage disposal and then film it instead of getting it out? Like, at least she saved it, but why would you film it? And how does that even happen? Oh no. This video went super viral, it has over 3 million likes, and like, you may think it's funny when you see it, but this is just irresponsible. <laughs> this is so freaking dangerous, like, first of all, the cat, I think, is like, pooping or peeing in the Bearded Dragon's enclosure, which is super unsanitary and bad for the Bearded Dragon. If your cat, like, even just scratched your Bearded Dragon, that could kill it because cats have bacteria in their claws, which is actually super bad for small animals like Bearded Dragons. And the fact that she's filming it and not taking her cat out, like, surely if you actually cared, you would take your cat out as soon as possible instead of just being like, oh, get out get out and knocking on the tank like that's not gonna get your cat out it looks like this has happened more than once honestly like because she already knew it was happening when she's walking down the hallway this has probably happened more than once and why would you not have a lid why would you film this and just let your cat do this i don't get it but yeah i remember this video Okay, so the caption is, so my fish died and I heard if you freeze your fish and put it in salt water, it'll come back to life. This became such a big trend, this has over 2.7 million likes, that people actually believed this bullshit and started making the same TikTok. So, if you actually pay attention to this video, you can see that the fish is actually still alive when she before she puts it into the tank. Look closely, just watch. See how it moved right before it got put into the cup of water. This girl really just took her beta fish that was already alive, put it onto a plate, put it in the freezer for a few seconds and took it out and put it in the cup and told everyone that it came back to life. It didn't. This is this is just complete bullshit. This is not true. Your fish is not gonna come back to life. This, I can't believe people really just do this shit for clout. Like obviously it worked. She got a lot of likes from it, but why? I can't believe people even believe this. Like why would that bring your fish back to life? It's not gonna do anything. Oh my god. Stop! Now look at those cute mice! They're so scared. Why would you not have a lid on your mouse cage if you also have a cat? Like, it's common sense. Like, come on. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot about this one. before we already had a filter and then I realized we couldn't find it and so then he started dying and I was really really crying a lot and then we went to PetSmart to get a filter so we went back home and we realized the tube didn't come with the filter so we had to go back to PetSmart to get the tube and then we came back and I had to speed home and everything was okay and that's how I impulsively bought a puffer fish. Stop impulse buying pets especially pets like a puffer fish that need a cycled extremely large tank. Puffer fish get massive. Impulse buying animals isn't cute it's not funny, it's just, it's just stupid. I mean, it seems like she does really care about the fish, which is good, but you really should need to do some actual research before buying an animal. Puffer fish require so much care. That's why I never want to own one, because they need a lot of care, especially these type of puffer fish that get really big. That tank is so tiny. Also, <laughs> the filter is actually an air pump. It's not even a filter, it's... <laughs> It's just an air pump, it's just giving it oxygen, it's not even filtering the water. Like, I hope he's still alive, I hope they improved his care. I do wonder if she got a new tank. Let's see if she did improve it. We thought we knew what we were doing because we used to have a big tank with a bunch of fish in it, including a puffer fish, but clearly not. So we went back to PetSmart to get a 20 gallon tank, which was actually a starter kit, so it had everything we needed this time. We made sure to talk to all the right people so we knew what we were doing. We actually got 
about Frankie Little Fish Fry and the cleaner fish, he or she, I don't really know, leave names in the comment section. And this is us filling up the tank and we were getting super excited and we let the fish sit in the water for a while before letting them go so they could get used to it. And I'm pretty sure they're really happy now. And my dog got into the fish food and ate all of it. Aww. So we actually had to go to Petco and get some more and we made a success. Okay, my dog is in the same thing. My dog also ate all my fish food once, but the tank is still very small for a puffer fish and... The cleaner fish, aka a bristlenose plico, is actually very messy fish. They are not cleaner fish. I don't know why they're like called that. I have one bristlenose plico in my big 150 liter tank here. He just makes all the mess in the tank. He is so messy. That's all they do. They 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 don't stop pooping. So that's gonna make your tank a lot more dirtier. But it does seem like she is really trying, which is good. But it's really it. It didn't really make much of a difference, honestly. Don't listen to the people in the pet store. They're not really there to help you. They're really there to sell products, so... Yeah, there's another video flushing down your live beta fish. It's so funny. Oh god, there's another one of these. Oh, I forgot about this one. The caption is, my cat actually just ate my crested gecko. But like, tell me, how the hell does a cat get into a closed off tank? Like how? Things ain't adding up here. This is an enclosure for a crested gecko. Now I don't know a lot about crested geckos, I've never owned any, you can't even get them in New Zealand. But I do know that they like to have um, very horizontal tanks with lots of things to climb on and stuff like that. That setup looks awful. It's like a towel and a piece of wood and a feed dish and that's literally it. Like, what? I feel like that the gecko just died so they thought they would put their cat in there and make a funny video and pretend that their cat ate it. Like, that's what I feel like they did. Oh god, I hate this video! You're free to go. I don't know if this is a joke or not. I hope this is just a stupid joke, but honestly, I don't think it is. I think this is serious. So they lit their, so they set their rat outside to be free because their parents said they couldn't keep it. Um, just so you guys know, pets can't live in the wild. They will die. <laughs> they are domesticated. They're not bred to survive in the wild like a wild rat is. They're not the same as a wild rat at all. They will just probably starve to death and die because they don't have their natural instinct. That's a white rat too, so that would easily get snapped up by predators. That is just really, really fucked up, honestly. I don't know why you couldn't just find someone who would keep it instead of letting it free to die outside. They actually made a part two to this, so let's watch that. This is why I released my rat into the wild. So I accidentally bought a rat, and I figured it was lonely, so I bought another one. But then they kept fighting to death. The one ate the other one's head. My mom thought they were demonic, so I had to release them. But this is why- What? So they ex- How do you- First of all, how do you accidentally buy a rat? It's really sad how people forget that animals like mice, hamsters, rats, fish, and other small animals- People seem to forget that they're actually animals and not just like disposable items. And it's really fucking disturbing. How much videos you see like this on TikTok. Um, I have a lot more videos here. Should I watch this one? This is another one of someone releasing their beta fish into the wild. Um, which is, which is, by the way, it's just a puddle of mud. Like what? Beta fish don't live in puddles. Why do people think beta fish live in puddles? They don't. That is just like a mud puddle from like um a car or something. So that will just evaporate in the sun anyway. But. They don't live in puddles in the wild, that's not true. They live in big rice paddocks, which are really big. So I talk about this in like my beta care video, so I don't really want to go through it again. <sighs> but yeah, those are some videos that I've come across on TikTok that I just wanted to show you guys and hopefully educate you guys on why those videos are not funny, they're not cute. And there's a lot more. I didn't show you guys all the videos I had saved because I have a lot saved because there's a lot of animal abuse on TikTok. 
Yeah, love TikTok. It's a great app. If you guys come across videos like this, please report it. I know it doesn't usually do anything, but we can try at least some of these videos to get taken down. Hopefully I didn't make you lose more faith in humanity, but is there any faith left? I don't know. Bye!